Hey, this will be a video chart on HESG, Health Sciences Group Incorporated. Uh, got a million requests for this one over the past few days, especially today. Um, and I can see why, so I want to get it updated uh, so people have an idea of what's going on from uh, the technical analysis point of view. Uh, one of the main things I get is, you know, what's going on with the company, what's going on with the stock. Uh, you know, I have no idea. I don't follow this story at all. Um, I, you know, so I'm the wrong person to ask opinion on what do I think of the company or do I think what you know this event the company is going to do is going to affect that you know I have no idea all I've been doing is following the chart and that's you know the viewpoint I'm going to take here so uh, you know I'm just a believer that the chart reflects what's going on with the company um, so that's you know the viewpoint I'm going to take with that being said uh, you know I'm not here to be a you know a Debbie Downer but uh, today was pretty rough for the chart not what you wanted to see uh, is there still hope yes is there a lot of hope? Not really. It's really borderline on complete kind of collapse here. Um, you know, it's it's pretty much all the almost all the way back down to where it began, and that's kind of where what I mean by in terms of hope. I'll explain uh, that in a few minutes. Uh, but you know, before you throw stones or anything, I'm just giving my opinion. So um, you know, I just want to tell what you know I see from a charting perspective, and you know what's uh, been going on. So for the longest time, uh, you know the, the probably looking down here about uh, six weeks about a month and a half uh, you know the chart was doing a great job of holding this range here and you know possibly consolidating bottoming out for another move up um, but then unfortunately uh, you know these past few days you know this channel has now broken and what's really you know kind of painful about the chart today is this volume bar right here big volume so it's not like this occurred on some little wimpy volume day like this uh, you know this occurred on quite a big volume day so uh, my guess would be there was probably quite a few people just kinda giving up saying you know what I've had enough of this I'm out and um, you know I think that had quite a bit to do people saw it breaking below these lows and that was kinda like the last straw for them they just kinda threw up the white flag and said alright I'm out and I'm moving on to other plays um, now the little bit of hope that I was talking about if we look back here before uh, you know things kinda woke up right here in um, late October you can see this was a range uh, between triple zero one triple zero two and like a lot of stocks you know that was so let me make this extra thick here that was a big uh, area of I'll move this down this was a big area of resistance so coming back here you know you can see for the longest time this was resistance then when it was finally broke above you know it became support and you know that's where it's been since then and now we're basically right back there uh, we haven't fallen down into a kind of the, um, you know, I don't want to say death trap, but if you're a triple zero uh, player, you know that the triple zero one, triple zero uh, two channel is a pain in the neck to get out of, and that's what I mean. You're right on the edge of falling back into that um, range. You haven't yet, so that's why I say there's still a little bit of hope, uh, but with today's volume and the way things have been uh, going down, uh, you know, the bulls are really going to have to dig in deep. They're really going to need to uh, try their best to hold on to this triple zero two level. Because uh, if it falls back in here, you know, my opinion is, uh, you know, I think it's going to get stuck right back in there because those levels are always so difficult uh, to get out of. Because you get the people that buy a triple zero one and then sell it a triple zero two, boom, they got their 100%. Not too bad for a day's worth of work. Um, so is it down there or not yet? Not quite, but, you know, you can't get any closer. It closed right at triple zero two. That's where the support level is. So we're just going to kind of have to see uh, if this support level can hold. Uh, in terms of resistances, uh, the key level that you want to get back above is just going to be kind of the low of this previous channel, which was right here. Uh, this low was at triple uh, zero four, so this is your key short-term uh, resistance level. And if the price can get above there and close, you know I'm sure I'll be back to update the chart. But for now, this is the only resistance I'm going to talk about. Um, so right now, I think the main concern. Uh, well, I don't think I, I know the main concern right now needs to be: is this triple zero two level going to hold? Um, if it does, you know, that's when I think people can kind of move on to, all right, now time to get back above the triple zero four. But for, uh, for now, you know, hopefully the bulls can dig in and hold this support level. So, uh, you know, kind of sorry to not have such a, a, a good report here. Uh, but, you know, the best I can really say is there is some hope, although not too much. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. This is a penny market, so crazy things happen all the time. So maybe the bulls will hold strong here and we'll get a rebound. Uh, but only time will tell. So if there are any other questions on the chart, uh, please let me know. 
I'd also encourage you to check out bullwarriorstocks.com. If you go there and sign up for the free newsletter, you'll get a free ebook which goes over uh, strategies on how to uh, use charts to get profits out of the market. And with your uh, newsletter subscription, you'll get chart setups, trade ideas, educational pieces, all sorts of things from big boards down to penny stocks. So there's a good variety, something for everybody. And it's all free, so it's worth checking out. We've been making some good money together. So uh, head over to the site, sign up, and uh, kind of see what it's all about. One last time, this was HESG. Thanks for listening.